Hey, Phil here. Welcome to a new tutorial. Something that ConvertKit has done in the past was made an update to how you can actually exclude specific people or tags or segments within your sequences, which can be important if you're trying to sell a product or something like that. And so I want to walk you through how to do that and why you would do that. So let's go to one of my sequences, which is for online course creators who listen to the Online Course Masters podcast. I've got this 43-day sequence with 11 emails. Halfway through this sequence, I pitch them on the idea of purchasing my online course classes and my other business classes with this Gain Your Freedom in 2017 email. Now, I don't want to send this to people who have already purchased the course or the monthly pass. And so with ConvertKit, now we can filter people. And this is new if you haven't seen this in a while or been on ConvertKit in a while. They have this filter or this, it looks like a little funnel icon right here. So for any of your emails in a sequence, you can click this filter and then you can choose people to filter out. Okay, so let me, I already had that on there, so let me change it. So to create a filter, you just click that funnel and then you choose, it's kind of like how we've done it before for who gets these sequences, you choose a filter. So it could be someone who's subscribed to a, to your channel or to your list. It could be people within a specific segment or on a particular form. Say someone subscribes to another form and they get similar emails. Maybe you don't want to send them this email. But for me, I've created a tag for people who have purchased the all access pass before. So I have the monthly pass purchasers and then I also, or I want to do or tags again and I'll do the all access pass lifetime purchaser. So whether you've purchased the all access pass monthly or you're a lifetime subscriber, then you want you want to be filtered out. So you can see that 16 people within this sequence have purchased that course of mine. Okay, so now I wanna make sure I save all. So now those people have been, been filtered out. So that's how you can filter out people. It's a really smart thing to do so that you aren't sort of badgering people to buy a product if they've already purchased a product. So when whenever you send out emails that promote a product, you should probably filter out people who have already purchased them. You can do that with Teachable, you can do it with Thinkific, you can do it with Gumroad, you can do it with all kinds of different people, Shopify. So you see all of these different integrations that ConvertKit already has that you can set up yourself. Cool, so that was just a new thing and I wanted to let you know about it and show you how I'm using it. Hopefully that helps you increase your ConvertKit conversions. Plus, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube or Facebook or anywhere else, I am giving away 10 free entries to the full Udemy email marketing for online entrepreneurs course using ConvertKit. We walk you through getting set up with ConvertKit, understanding all of the different things you can do with ConvertKit, building ultimate sales funnels with ConvertKit. And part of what we're doing right now with these tutorials is going through and updating the course. So it's gonna be brand new and updated. Uh, some of the old lectures are still gonna be there, or all of them, but we're updating with all the new things that ha ConvertKit has to offer. So click on the link below to get one of the 10 free spots to the Udemy course. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another tutorial.